Hi, it's Chris Crocker, and I am surrounded this afternoon by beers and friends. What a great way to spend the afternoon, my friends. From the festival at Sandpoint, it is coming right up. We have Bob Witte, we have Dino Wall, and we have Tone Lund, all with the festival. And we have some of the best breweries anywhere that are local to North Idaho. So proud uh, that these are right here in Idaho and huge sponsors of the festival. And Bob, these special beers, you can get these at the festival this year. These are the special beers for the festival. You get them in either one of the bars and we will feature them on Brewfest as well. Awesome, and what is, uh, I know you've already been pouring a little bit. What are where, What is this beer that yes, you have indeed. here? Yes, indeed. This is the Tipsy Toehead, which by no means describes oh, you tonight. No, no. Um, <laughs> it is called the, the Tipsy Toehead, and this is their best pale ale from McDuff's, which is one of our local breweries up in Sandpoint and also a big sponsor of the festival. Oh, so this is the first one. Let's give it a sniff. Let's give I'm it a just swirl. sniffing, by the way. Oh, and that does smell good. Now this, to me, smells like the beer you want if it's a hot day at the mm -hmm. festival. One of those occasionally it gets up into the 90s, mm -hmm. you might want to enjoy this. Oh, that smells amazing. What do you smell there? Good, huh? What do you taste Well, it's there, not bro? really oh. fair because this is my favorite beer on earth. Oh, is so, it really? Uh, well, only every other day. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm there almost every day, and this is usually... Oh, wow. They do have a new one, La Cerveza, which is... Um, Kind of a Mexican style beer, I, which is even I lighter. It's absolutely delicious. Just came out like yesterday. This smells so, really great. But this is ideal for that warm festival summer evening. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will, uh, this for sure, it's, and what else, what other do Well, this is the here? Irish Redhead, which you may in be interested in since you just <laughs> yeah. came back from Ireland, Chris. Uh -huh. This is a I'm red, a that's horror. okay, we're not, not judging here. Not and she has not horror. been drinking, no. she's just. <laughs> and Okay, while you are pouring, tell me these adorable little glasses, um, I love them. You can get these. This is what you serve in at the uh, at the big brew fest, Bob, right? Yeah, at the brew fest, you get that as a souvenir, and that's your tasting uh, glass as well. And um, you know, people are thinking, what do we do with them after you know the tasting? Is that they're perfect for juice glasses, mm -hmm. or if you have that's kids right. and grandkids, you know, to have their All little right. orange juice in the morning, or little mementos. Little shots of beer. The Irish redhead. And oh. McDuff's, it's uh, two brothers, Mickey and Duffy, and yes. that's why the brewery is called McDuff's. They have two locations in Sandpoint, and they have taps at the both bars at the festival. Oh, and yeah. I love McDuff's. It is just an outstanding uh, brewery. I ran into they... Aaron Luna there for he was having lunch after skiing one day. This oh weekend. well, <laughs> you the, fr more friends at <laughs> McDuff's. Yeah, that smells incredible. I do have to say it is difficult to resist, but I do have to do the the weather later. Yeah, we can so go down I uh, yeah okay I might yeah. We won't blame you <laughs> if you're wrong about the forecast. You know? oh, we won't blame you. Oh my goodness! As long as it's right during the festival, right? Mm -hmm. Now, um, okay, what's next? There? The next one, I think that uh, Tone should comment on this because Ooh. she loves porters, and this is a lovely porter here. It's a it's their dark beer. It's called the Knot Tree, which is their logo. Um, it's oh. an Irish tree, and uh, it is a, a, a nice, dark, wonderful, what, what does it have, Tone? Some sort of, like, um, coffee or yeah. elements? Yeah. Oh, espresso. man. Espresso. Yeah. It's got Evans Brothers coffee in it. This, yeah, in what kind of? Evans Brothers. Oh, I love that's Evans Brothers coffee yeah. is heaven on earth. Boy, those are two good things happening. Yeah, and this is one of Tone's favorites. And this so might be a good one orders. to start the night so you can dance all night with a little jolt of caffeine to get the <laughs> party right. started, right? That's right. Oh, that is... It's pretty good. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I want to put saran wrap over that and put it in the fridge for later. <laughs> Certainly, yes. <laughs> well, we'll leave these for you in the crew. Yes, indeed. Mm, oh, my goodness. That yeah. does... that. Mm. Yep, that smells like malty goodness. Mm. Very, very good. Very nice. um, now... D to get to the, the brew fest, every, everybody knows about the festival at Sandpoint. Mm -hmm. It is a time-honored tradition, but the brew fest is a little bit different. You pay an extra fee. How does the brew fest work? Well, it's 10 more dollars to your ticket price, but you get in with your ticket, then you go to the brew fest tent. And so even if it's one of those 90 degree days, um, you're in the shade and there's 
are about 30 different breweries there from all over with oh my gosh with taste and that goes to, um from when gates open till about eight o'clock has that been a popular uh, it has been so oh, yes. actually last year it was too popular it was oh. beyond sold out <laughs> so we're making it we're kind of tweaking it every year to make it so it's more fan friendly and it's going to be great. Oh, I'm sorry, your event's too popular, guys. <laughs> That's a shame. What is this? You are going to smell that. Smell it. Do you smell a berry? A certain familiar oh, berry. That's huckleberry. huckleberry. Yeah. Oh, and so, that's. Yes, this is the Huckleberry Cream Ale. It's one of Laughing Dog Brewery's oh, sure. favorites. And uh, wow. people just love that. Yep. And to me, I really love it because it has a huckleberry uh, taste to it, yet not a sweet. It's not overly sweet, which sometimes when they put berries in certain things, it's a little bit too much. Right. And it's just still crisp, very light, and it's available in cans. We it's also delicious. have it on tap, and it's nice. And I think it's their nice. biggest seller. Yeah. Well, yes. and if you're going up to North Idaho uh, from somewhere else, mm -hmm. when in Rome, have some huckleberries, That's right? right? And That's Laughing right. Dog also uh, uh, cans all their beer and they ship it all around the country. That's right. I have seen it everywhere. So proud that they are local and uh, love Laughing Dog. That that just smells tremendous. And they're new sponsors this year, so it's great. That's right. right. That's true. And they have a wonderful new tasting room in Ponderé, which is the little community that's just a little bit northeast sure. of Sandpoint. Yeah, so there's a lot of great things cropping up in Ponderay and Laughing Dog is, is one of them. Now, for folks who have not been to the festival, and you? you just must, one of the great things about it is you can bring your own, you've got food there, it is such a laid back, come as you are atmosphere. It, it's the only, festival of its type I, that I know of in the world where you can still bring your own beer, you can bring your own wine or whatever you want to drink. You can bring your own food. A lot of people bring a little table with their beach oh, chairs yes. and have wine and cheese, whatever. But if you're not into bringing all that stuff or you forgot something, we have a <laughs> festival street with about 13 food booths. They're all local restaurants and caterers. So a little bit of everything. And it is, it's not your typical food when you go to a concert no. or a sporting event. It is, it's great, absolutely yeah. great. And I think a lot of people even come to the festival just to eat. And uh, it's, it's that true. good. Then, like I said, we have uh, two separate bars, and uh, which have everything, you know, mixed drinks and so on. Mm -hmm. So it's really a very unique experience. Yeah, I always have the best intentions to pack up some beautiful picnic, but that never happens. Right. Uh, and so I'm either kind of wandering around from blanket to blanket to see what people have, but more often I am <laughs> going to the vendors because there are some tremendous uh, things there. And what is this? This is I a know. Hefeweizen, and I wish I had a oh. little orange slice for you, oh. <laughs> but we'll just say skull oh, to cheers. that one. Oh, yeah, yes. cheers. Yes. And I love a good oh, Hefeweizen. Yeah. It's a nice wheat. A wheat beer. Another great one for a hot summer mm -hmm. day. Nothing like a oh, hefeweizen very, on it when it's warm crusty. outside. Mm -hmm. That is very Oh, nice. that does smell good. Mm -hmm. Now, we've been talking a lot about a beer, a lot about <laughs> the drinks you can get at the festival at Sandpoint. Uh, yet, every time I've been, it is a very respectful, family-friendly, lovely atmosphere. Oh, yes. It's not uh, a no. drunken no. No, 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 brawl. No, no, no. It looks no. like we've been having a lot of fun here but yes. it, it, and even the brew fest it's not a frat party no people yeah, are not no. you're, you're getting this little teeny thing it's there to taste the beer absolutely yes. yeah we've had very few negative incidents with, with no, parties. i've never yeah. seen yeah. a yeah. thing no. quite then, the opposite you get, a, you, you get tasting notes so people can compare we even have a best of um award where people vote for the best of, and then that's on the tap, you know, that says I've been voted best of at the festival at Sandpoint's Brew Fest Fantastic. For, that, for that particular uh, beer. And yeah, it, but it is an all ages venue. All the artists that play there know that it's an all ages venue. And uh, we just, it's, it's, it just feels like the most friendly, relaxed audience forward festival that, that I've ever been to. It's quite unique. Oh, it is. Yeah. I mm -hmm. love it. The people there are so nice. And like I say, I go kind of go from blanket to blanket and meet people and there's no hassles and it is just easygoing, great time. We're, uh, we always love seeing you there, Chris. Oh. And we love that you give the weather report, especially when it's sunny. We yeah. really like that. I am going to start yeah, working on that. Do something about that. Yes. Yeah. And no smoke. Yeah. And yeah, it's yeah, going to be great. Going to yeah. be great this year. Okay, real yeah. quick. One last oh, oh I didn't oh, realize that. Oh, Oh, yeah, purpose. let's do it. This is the other porter that we have for you. Oh, um, I do it's love called a porter. A, it, it's called a pecan porter. So oh, there is yes. um, a nutty element to this one. Um, and this is 
There you go. Oh boy, that is bold. That smells like dinner. Like dinner, you could eat that, and you <laughs> no. wouldn't need a need a bite to eat. You know, I really do love oh, borders more I and more because they, there's so much complexity to them. It's similar to Guinness. It smells like. Yes. Oh. Yeah. That's a. You probably had a. Pint. I had a. Did you I had a, a Guinness. <laughs> I had a okay. pint or two in uh, Ireland. Yes. Yeah. Well. Yep, that is lovely. It would be a crime if you didn't. And very different from the other porter. You can, there is a distinct yeah, difference. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, this, this is chocolatey. It's chocolate, mm -hmm. yes, chocolatey. That's exactly what it is. That was more coffee, is. that's more chocolate. Mm -hmm. I tell them that yeah. is your favorite, mm -hmm. the porters. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so Bob, glass. you mm -hmm. get to the festival. Which beer are you going to reach for first? Well, like I said, I'd go for the uh, <laughs> the blonde. Yes. Got to stay faithful there. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that's the McDuff's uh, tip. My beer. See toe head, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, Dino, which one is she, would you go for? I think this. I mean, I don't know if it's the fact that it's the last, but it really does taste like dessert in a little glass that you can just sip on Ooh, and enjoy. That it's sounds really, really perfect. Nice, yeah. And uh, Tone? I probably have to go with the McDuff's Porter. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I'm going to say if it's 90, I'm going to go with the blonde. But if it's 75, I'm going to go with the, the McDuff's Porter. How's that? I like that. That's a, that is definitely a meteorologist. <laughs> yeah, I, pick, I do pick my beers based on the weather. Yeah. Okay, and the, the beer, brew fest is one day, the second Tuesday. Thursday. Th Thursday, excuse me. Second Thursday. Green Sky Bluegrass Night. Yeah, so Thursday. Bluegrass okay. and beer, well, it's night. perfect. Yes. So the Green Sky Bluegrass, it's going to be a fantastic um, evening there. Uh, the opening band is Parson Field. The gates open at 6. The brew fest starts right then. Great. And the music starts at 7. Right. And yeah. But these beers are at the festival oh, every day. Yeah. August 2nd through 12th, you will find these beers. So bring I your own or wait. try any of these. Yeah. And or both. Uh, yeah. And you mentioned blankets a few times. We also have a wonderful new stadium. It That's is, right. It is gorgeous, it's huge, and so if you feel like being under the cover oh. and sitting in a, in a chair, you've got it, it's probably the best sound back there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but if you're also free to just roam the field and throw a blanket or a beach chair or whatever. Fantastic. All right, well, thank you so much for being here. Cannot wait Thanks, for the festival. Chris. Thanks for having us. <laughs> yeah. See you then. Yes.